What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Chicken Bone Alley, brought to you by SRI Performance. Stock car steel and aluminum, or Amy Racing Engines, and Profab Headers and Exhaust. What is going on? I'm David. I'm Connor. What's up with you, man? Not a lot, really. Just, um, racing season's over for us, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been kind of a, a laid back week so far. Laid back. Well, I wanted laid back. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, nah, it, it ain't been bad. I, I tell you a couple things that happened though. Um, I get in one thing happened today, and good lord, I was telling you a little bit about it there. But um, it Kayla got a new phone. She actually got it about a week and a half ago. But I hadn't. We just hadn't been home. Yeah. We've been on the run. Uh, we hadn't been home. Hadn't had time to set up because she wanted to get pictures off her old phone. And everything. Transfer all the iPhone stuff, you know, all that transfer, all that stuff, get it backed up to the iCloud and all that fun stuff. Well, Saturday morning I got up, it was raining. I was like, well, give me a phone. Let's start on. I ain't, I ain't got a whole lot planned today. Yeah. We ain't, we're getting ready to go on a cruise. We're leaving this week, go on a cruise. So we didn't have a whole lot planned, you know, other than getting everything, trying to stri- get it straight for that. So, uh, we, uh, she hands me her phone. <clears throat> And she's like, I'm going to get some breakfast while you start that. So she leaves, goes, gets breakfast. So at about, I don't know, it was probably 9, 9.30 in the morning on Saturday when I started it. I finally finished setting up her new phone at 12.30 that night. Wow. What was going on? <laughs> what was going on? I don't know. It was just uh, trying to get it backed up. It forever. wouldn't, well, it would get like halfway and stop get halfway and stop so i was like well, i'm gonna try to put stuff on my computer just move pictures all that just put them on my computer for now and then we'll do whatever with them and get a little bit and it say it had an error hmm. i don't know well finally i was just like all right um i got a, i got good bit on my computer i would get so much then it would have an error then so i got a good bit um then I was like, well, she just have to deal with it. We'll get more on there later off that one because we, we got to send it back. We had like 30 days to send it back, so still got to send it back, but I got to make sure she got everything off of it. Um, so I started setting up the phone, and when I started setting up new one, it said it was going to automatically back the other one up. I was like, geez, it's going to take forever. <laughs> no, nah, like 20 minutes it was done. Wow. Then all of a sudden. So it moved everything over to the new phone just after right. that. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Hmm. It was just... It took forever. I imagine. Last year, right before I got this one, I got here. The first I got, I was going to get it for Christmas. The first time we got the delivery, the box was empty. <laughs> two of them, two of them, as mine and my sister's I worked, had, I, had been stolen. I worked at a at a package delivery service, <laughs> we'll say, for a while, and uh, there were some boys got caught there oh, yeah. stealing them out of there uh, back years ago. So I believe it. Um. But then, yeah, that's all I did Saturday. I did not walk out the house Saturday. Wow. Um, uh, I, I will say I did that. But while I was sitting there updating a couple times, I was like, well, I'm going to turn on iRacing while I sit there here on my computer. So I got on there and messed around a little yeah. bit and uh, did a few things. Um, but then Sunday, uh, had a good service at church. Uh, afterwards, Kayla had a, uh, it's like their, um, she works with Children's Church back there. And they have like a team, team, they call it teams giving. So it's like a Thanksgiving for supper or dinner, what they say for their little uh, children's church teams and stuff like that. So, but it was a spaghetti dinner. Hmm. So I had a pile of spaghetti and ate at church and then went over to Kayla's parents' house and sat around, played some games for a little while, then went and watched another episode of The Chosen <laughs> Sunday night. Um, at our youth pastor's house, wow. um, and that was it. You got a pack Sunday. That's yeah. about that's about the one day that I try to not be. I try not to. Like, it's other always. than church, it's just it's always right it's, it's well. I I don't ever do too much, but once I get this chosen stuff over with, we won't do as much. But I, I like it. Yeah. It's, it's fun. Um, we typically just come home and or come to my parents or either her parents, and we rotate Sundays eating at one or the other and hang out there for a while. So then, so then today, I'm gonna tell the story real quick. We got a guest coming on here in just a few minutes. So uh, 
I'm gonna tell a story really <laughs> quick. Uh, today, I'm at work. Uh, this afternoon, actually, I get a call from Kayla. Um, all she says is Jackson's missing. I said, "Huh? <laughs> what? What do you mean? At school, Jackson's yeah. missing." And I just said, "I'm on my way." So I jumped in the truck, went to school. Well, we have Florence Sheriff's Office out there, Florence City Police. Something happened with their playground. They have a closed-in playground. They were building a new playground, but something happened with their other one. They were working on it, so they couldn't play on the one that's closed-in. So they had them just in the back. Well, Jackson, I don't know what all happened. I mean, regardless of what happened, um, he got away from one of the teachers. Um I think she was dealing with another child, and she turned around, and basically he bolted um, and went into woods, or the jungle, as he <laughs> calls it. Um, and like I said, we were out there with sheriff's office because, I mean, he was he was gone, oh. gone. And we are out there calling and calling and calling and would not come and... Uh, we're we're going in the woods, but the sheriff or the police—I don't remember who—but anyway, they asked us. They said, "Don't go in the woods. We got K nine coming out here. He, they're going to get a scent, and he's going. We don't want to mess the scent up. We don't want to mess the scent up." They kept on. It was like taking forever. Well, the superintendent of Florence School District One was there, and finally, he's like, "I'm going in. This is wasting too much time." And he's like, "Forget your policy. I'm I'm going in." So everybody was about to. And about as soon as he's done that, uh, somebody called from school that's about a quarter mile down the road jackson showed up over there um on their field so thankfully uh so that will yeah thankfully at least he's found yes but, yes well. um but you talk about scary oh i uh, can't imagine you, I mean, you should have called me Great. <laughs> hey, that is uh, i can't i can't imagine it was uh it was probably uh, it, it was it was super, and I'm the and I'm the calm one out of <laughs> <that's> <laughs> me and my wife, um, so she is highly. I mean, she was highly upset. I mean, rightfully so. I mean, everybody was, you know, but it's just like, all right, we got to focus, get him, figure out what's going, where he's at. Um, but fortunately, all the all the police that were there were nice, super nice. Everybody at the school, there were so many teachers because school was getting out, and uh, so the teachers that didn't have anything to do. They came back in the back and uh we're looking as well um jackson's teacher was super upset but i'm sure like i said he, he he's he's a runner huh? I mean, you know how he will. as any as y'all see him on here every once in a while he'll pop in here because he <laughs> runs off from somebody and pops in here i mean but just glad now he come out of woods with no clothes on yeah we're not no sure shoes, what all no shoes <laughs> no well i thought we think he fell in mud he had some mud on him. We, th- we think about filling a mud puddle. Smart enough to get it off. He don't, hey, he don't like mud yeah. on him. He don't want to be dirty. Um, had his underwear on and come on out. Um, like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Chill out. So. He was just having a good time. He's. <sighs> I'm hoping that got his uh, yeah. run in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> got out of system. Got out of his system, maybe, because uh, that is not a call that's fun to get. Is uh, Yeah, it was... Uh, it was super scary, and but I, I am thankful for all our friends and family who jumped right in there, and our church family even they heard, and there were some of them that were on the way there, and they were coming to look. Um, so you know, wow. appreciate everybody coming out there because it was, whew, it was a, uh, it's it's, and me and the me and the superintendent had a little talk <laughs> about. Yeah, fences. Well, yeah, <laughs> fences. I was like, it's really. I don't. You obviously don't know the situation, but you got to have something other than just the teachers yeah. watching them. Because I mean, it, I'm not saying it, it, not saying it can't. I mean, it, it can happen. You know, I mean, the kids can run. That's oh, not. Yes. Well, you I need mean, something outside of just two eyes yeah, watching them. Yeah, you got to have something at least to slow them down. Yeah. So that's what we we had to talk about a fence. I think, or what he told me was. There would be one there. I don't know when, but he said there would be one. So, um, but nothing and that's all you can I mean, ask. Nothing really. else comes I mean, from it, at least. Exactly. You know, some I mean, improvements are made. That's all you can ask. Changes just, are made. Yeah, because that's a. Uh, you don't want anybody to have to get that call. Um, so it was super cool. 
but I, it was cool of him. Super too. cool, super stressful. That's what I'm saying. Super stressful and all that fun stuff. All right. Let's uh, move on to better things. <laughs> Let's, um, young lady here with us again, back uh, for the second time on the show with us, Miss Katie Hittinger. What's going on, Miss Katie? Uh, nothing. Well, actually, a lot's going a on. A lot. <laughs> I think there's a lot going on. <laughs> well, all the stuff from last weekend, and then uh, I'm in Georgia right now doing a Skip Barber road course school. Oh, wow. So. Wow. All over the place. How, how's road course racing going? It's good. I'm learning all the fundamentals, like basic stuff. Um, it's kind of today was the first day, and it was kind of slow. Like, what's the brake pedal and stuff like that. But <laughs> hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more fast paced. Did, did you tell them all uh, no brake, all part. gas, <laughs> all gas, no brake? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you had some uh, exciting news over this past weekend. Uh, the Carolina Pro Late Model Tour, uh, you took home a win at the Fall Brawl there at Hickory. Uh, can, first off, congratulations. That is a uh, uh, we, were, we were so glad to see you in victory lane. Thank you. Yeah, I was too. That was, <laughs> I really did that one, um, and it was perfect timing too. It was really cool to be in my dad's car, so family-owned car, um, and new team for next year and everything. So um, it was a really good way to start 2024 off strong. That's what I was fixing to ask. I was fixing to ask. I mean, obviously, uh, <laughs> obviously, it was a very strong start there. Um, so, uh, you know, how, how was the adjustment going over to that car now as opposed to, uh, you know, the cars you've been running this this past year and, and, and what you're going to be doing next year? I mean, that, that looked, looked really good, obviously. Yeah, it felt really good. We had a really fast car. Um, we didn't qualify the best. We qualified fourth. Um, I think we could have done a little bit better there. And then in the race, actually, in practice, the car was really good. We practiced a couple of days before, too. Um, and then in the race, the car just got super tight. Um, and so we struggled. I was a little worried there for a little bit, not going to lie. I was like, oh, man, I'm in, like, seventh. Like, what is going on? But uh, my crew stayed with me. They were telling me, like, adjustments I could make in the car and stuff. Um, and how to like make my line a little better and everything. And we were just patient. Um, Kale Gale, my spotter, he helped a lot because there were a lot of yellows there at the end, um, right in front of me. And so he helped me with that. Um, we were able to keep our nose clean and that's really, um, what helped us get the win there. Well, if nothing else, you got some good eyes up there because, uh, Kale knows how to get it done himself. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's, we this is my second race with him. Um, he's going to help us the rest of the year, and hopefully next year we'll see. Um, but he's great to work with. I really like him. We communicate well, so he's a great guy. Yeah, he is, and uh, his dad knows a thing or two about uh, about some setups also. So <laughs> good, yeah. good people to have around. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, cool, cool. Well, uh, I, I do want to. I don't want to bring up a whole lot of the past, but we everybody saw what all went on, you know, a couple of races ago, whatever. But to be able to come back from that and go put a win up, you know, your first race back from from all the controversy, we'll say, uh, it feel a little more special doing something like that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and it not only was special that that's the trophy I've wanted to win like for years. Um, but so there was the trophy, the running my dad's car. And then also after, um, a rough cup, a rough couple past weeks. Um, so to be able to just turn around, um, in my first race back and my last race in a pro be a win, um, really was special to me and my confidence and my mental state and all of that. Nice. Nice. Well, congratulations. Um, that's so cool. Glad to, uh, Glad to see you in victory lane. First female in the Carolina Pro Late Model Tour to uh, to win a race. Uh, I, I always w w wonder about that and kind of worry saying that because I hear some some ladies, it's like, I don't want to be known as a female racer. I just want to be known as a racer. How, what's your stance on that? I mean, is it cool both ways or, I mean, what's your stance? Yeah, I definitely, like, do think about that sometimes, um, and I think, especially after, like, the whole Hickory thing, like, becoming the winningest female there, yeah. um, that's really, like, what I was known for a lot, um, but I think a lot of people realize, like, as we went to other tracks, they were like, okay, like, they kind of took me more as a driver instead of just a right. female driver, um, and it's definitely cool to have that title. Um, I really like the Carolina Pro Mall Series. We ran them, like, when we first started coming down here and stuff, 
Um, so it's definitely cool to have that title um, and everything. But I think everyone now realizes me more as a driver um, as I've kind of gotten my name out there more. But it definitely is cool for like women and more girls coming up um, for that to get out and like them to see that and stuff. Well, well, in saying that, I think you are in a uh, big uh, awesome wave of women coming into the sport and uh, really advancing right now. Um, there, there's, there's more girls out there right now racing than I ever remember there being. And, uh, and, and I think you're probably part of that reason because they see in what you're doing and young girls that, that, you know, look up to you and they're like, Hey, she's doing it. I can do it too. And, and which is awesome to me. Yeah, it definitely is cool, especially seeing like all the fans like Halloween. I had a couple girls dress up with me for <laughs> Halloween, and, like make these cardboard cars. And it was just really awesome. And I feel like to be the first female to win in CPLMS is also cool because I feel like that's a stepping stone um, up to Cars Tour. So like that, if you're like females looking to get into um, stock cars and like pro late models, I think that definitely would be a good step. Well, real fast, you just mentioned the Cars Tour. I want you to kind of look looking back at your season we talked to you about midway through uh the season i think it was probably about june july ish you were on the show um you had a great season you really did i thought you know looking at it from how do you assess your your season as a whole in the in the cars tour yeah i definitely think we had a good season too i mean second in points um and then also rookie of the year, first female to get that title too. So it definitely was a good season. Um, and both those titles show that we did want the championship. Obviously, I think everybody knows that. Um, and we did lead the points for a long time. We had really good fe- second place finishes, top five, top 10. So we had a lot of really good season or er, finishes um, this season. So overall, I'm happy with how the season went. My guys busted their butt, the Anthony Campy crew. Um, and so I had a lot of fun this season with them. And I'm glad that we got some awards by the end of it. <laughs> you took home some hardware there. That's always good. That's always good. Well, cool. Well, congratulations on that also. Um, now, moving on, you will be here in our backyard uh, this weekend. South Carolina 400 coming up. Uh it, going to make a run at it some big names out there how you feeling about it uh, i'm really excited i'm excited to be back in a late model again um they're always fun to drive and at florence i really like florence and the 400 was a lot of fun last year it was cold but it was a lot of fun so <laughs> i'm excited to be back this year hopefully we can have a good running um i think we'll be pretty good uh, my guys are working hard on the car um and so i'm just i'm just really excited for it i say um uh, and I wonder, you know, um, we run over there quite often ourselves, either in, in Charger class or Legend cars back there. Uh, but, you know, a longer race like that at a track like Florence, um, what it, what is that like? Is that, do you feel like you have to go out there and you got to save tire? Or is that, is it, you don't have a chance to save tire? You just got to go. How, how do you feel about it? Um, I feel like you definitely have to find that balance. I mean, it kind of showed last year. Uh, we kind of saved a little bit, a little bit, dropped back some. Um, and I mean, Dale did too. Like you saw him drop back and then he just kind of stayed out of all the wrecks and everything. And he was there at the end. So um, I think that's definitely a good strategy going in. You know, you'll have those comp yellows and everything like that. There definitely will be a lot of yellows um, with all the cars that'll be there. But you just got to be smart and have that strategy with your team and everything. Um, and I know my guys will help me out with that. So good deal. Good deal. Uh, well, all right. I got to ask, you know, people, people, um, I like, I like Dale. I like Dale Jr. A lot. I do. All right. It come down white flag. He's leading. You're in second. You doing everything you can to win this race. I mean, I wouldn't ride <laughs> for him someday, but I think he would understand to a certain extent, like might put the bumper a little bit, That's but right. it depends on the, like how close, if I know I can get it, we will have a little bit of contact maybe, but, um, it all, but I definitely would do what I could. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I was, well, that's what I want to hear right there, sure. right there. Well, well, Katie, thank you so much uh, coming on, helping us. Uh, let everybody know. Let everybody know who's uh, who's been helping you on on that car uh, for this past weekend. Uh, you know, helping you get out to the track and uh, making that happen. 
Yeah, so uh, Jason Stanley and Joe, they were working in the shop late nights and everything. Um, and then obviously my dad. And then we had um, Braden come out and help us too. And then um, my dad's buddy Steve came out. And then Team Chevy, Wheeler Trucking, Van Doren Racing Development, Victor Custom Trailers, all those guys that help help us get out to the track every weekend. So huge thanks to them. And Big Chevy being the biggest one. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Well, awesome. Well, best of luck this weekend over at Florence Motor Speedway and the South Carolina 400. Uh, hope to see you in Victor Lane over there. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Miss Katie Hedinger, appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. So, uh, anyway, um, be fun to see this weekend especially over at florence motor speedway who can do what oh, wow. there's um, i mean my dad are talking about there's just no telling who will win that race no no there's really not there's really not and you know as we just heard kate i mean katie hittinger she did great in it um she did good at it last year she can always jump up and come back and yeah i mean she can she could be up front you know oh, yeah. you save your stuff right and there at the end, anybody can win that race. That's that's a really, really good one. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Be exciting to see. I know you'll be out I'll of town, be, out I'll floating be out around of, somewhere. Yeah, I'll be floating around. I, we scheduled a cruise back a long time ago. Didn't even really pay attention what weekend, but regardless, got to go sometime. Yeah. Um, well, I'll be out of the country on a cruise, be in the Bahamas or somewhere out in the Atlantic Ocean anyway. Um Go to some warmer weather because it doesn't get cold yeah. outside. I don't mind it though. No, I don't mind it. I don't like it getting dark early, but the weather I, I enjoy. It's chilly. All of a sudden, I walked in there a little while ago. I was like, man, it <laughs> dropped down quick today. Yeah. So, uh, it was, it's all good. Um, I want to rethink <laughs> our sponsor real quick SRI Performance. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, head over to SRI Performance. Uh, go online. Load up everything you need for all these big races coming up. www.sriperformance.com. Uh, load it up that cart. Get put in promo code CBONE10. C bone that's C is in chicken. B O N E 10. Get yourself 10% off at time of checkout. Also, uh, good friends over at Stock Car Steel and Aluminum. Same deal, guys. They need anything as far as uh, painted aluminum, uh, whatever kind of sheet metal you need. Uh, as their name says, steel and aluminum. Also, plastics and any other type of materials you can think of head over to stock car steel and aluminum get all that you need um so uh 400 this week as we just talked about coming up um we got a lot of drivers uh katie hettinger <laughs> you know coming off a win uh you got dale Earnhardt jr coming back in it uh, driving it again after a good run last year. Yeah. I thought he had a car that possibly kinda could got, have yeah. uh, maybe won. Who knows? Uh, but he... Kind of got rough there at the end. It got rough, and he ended up getting put to the back a couple, a couple times. Yeah. Um, You got Josh Berry, who I think is probably going to be one to beat. Going to be one to beat? I don't... It's going. I think. I don't think it's a done deal as it was if he was in junior... If he was in one of Junior's cars. I, I think you're right. Um, I... F- feel like you got Carson Quapple that could easily come up and run really good. He's he's run second there quite a few times and uh see if he can get it done. You got Butterbean, Brendan Queen coming back, uh defending his uh title from the South Carolina four hundred. Um man there's so many so many guys coming in this race that could easily get it done. Um it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild one, I think, to watch. Yeah. Might, but, um, uh, might roll the trailer in there just so we got somewhere to watch. There you go, man. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. What, what, what? Junior brings a crowd, if nothing else. I tell yeah, you. hey, good. I, and I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. I, I appreciate that. You know, um, because that's the thing is what what these people have to realize what they're seeing happening over there with Dale and Hart Junior when he's there. Um, that's the same racing we get every Saturday night over there okay. out of late model stocks. Um, maybe not quite as many, but this past season there was that was a good field. Pretty, well I think say about fifteen to twenty cars every every week. 
uh, some weeks more than that. Uh, so, it, yeah, if you're if you're coming over just to watch Dale Earnhardt Jr., please come on over. Uh, uh, any other week yeah, they're racing all the time they're not yeah because it's it's good racing all year long this this is this is all year thing there was really good racing out there a couple weeks ago um so um so 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 if you were a betting man just kind of had to predict you know how this race is gonna look what you thinking i'm give it hopefully a hybrid of the last previous two years you know uh two years ago kind of Kind of calm, kind of not a whole lot going on to the end. A lot of tire saving. Last year, it seemed like they just were going from the drop of the green flag. So I think you'll see. It, there were there was kind of a phase where it went for everybody was saving tires. Everybody was riding around, and then just that's kind of faded away. Some it seems it seems like more people are trying to conserve tire, but they're, they're trying to keep track position too. I don't, nobody, not a whole lot of them are just laying way back and trying to storm back up to the yeah. field because they're just so many competitive cars. It's just hard to do so. I I can see it playing out many different ways. I think I, I think you're going to want the track position. Um, do you think after years of you running over there, um, what what's the longest race you've run over there? Just a fifty laps. You ran fifty laps. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's just take that fifty lap race. Obviously, they're going to run a lot more than that, mm-hmm. but um. That fifty lap race when you ran it, uh, was that a race that you started out and you were like, "All right, I gotta save a little tire here," or was that just a let's go? It's weird, you know. You you try to you you don't. I wasn't explicitly trying to just save tire, but if I got in a point where I was kind of had a gap to the car front, to the car behind, I would try to conserve tires. So then yeah. it's I'll just try not to spin up the right rear off the corner and try to keep. As much little as wheel in it as possible, but for fifty laps, I didn't save a whole lot. But but you also don't try to abuse them. Just try try to don't try to heat them up too much. And don't don't run like a qualifying every lap, you know. Yeah. But try to eat. Still going hard though. And that's why I want to explain. That's why I'm glad you're explaining to everybody. Is when we say saving tired, that don't necessarily mean you're going slow. Um, that means you're just because a lot of times we'll come off the corner or any driver come off the corner and you put your foot in it. It might slip the tire a little bit if you're going in a qualifying lap. It might slip the tire just a little bit. Um, And what you're trying to do is prevent that. You're trying to keep less, when you say less wheel in it, you're trying not to turn quite as hard so you don't slide that right front across the, it's like a cheese grater out there. It just tears off the rubber when you do that. So uh, conserving tire doesn't necessarily mean going slow. Um, that don't mean somebody's going to get out there and ride. Uh, it just means you're going to be, you know, you might, if somebody's beating on your back bumper, you might let them go just so you're not pushing so hard. Um, but you're still not going slow. So um, uh, I did see they're changing the tire for this race. Um, the... It's still a 45, but it's a different size. Yeah, I did see that. Um, I, I think that's kind of the same size that the Cars Tour ran kind of. on. Stiffer sidewalls, kind yeah, of thing. yeah. Uh, you think that have much effect? I, I don't. I didn't. I don't know. see it having a huge effect. No. That's what I was going to say. I don't see it when the uh, maybe qualifying times. I don't know. I don't know which way would throw it. I feel like with the cooler temperatures, it may may make them with that stiffer sidewall may make them slide around a little yeah, more until they warm up. That's what I'm saying. So maybe qualifying times are slightly slower, but I, I don't think you. I mean. Cars to run, all they run is long races on these tires. So I don't know their actual reasoning behind it. I, 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 I like they said they just so so they had enough for people could buy a practice tire. That's why I was fixing to say. I think been, they had enough of the other size for people to. Yeah, I just figured there must have been an abundance of yeah, these as so. opposed to the other, so it would make more sense mm-hmm. to to run these. Um, I know we've actually got stuck on some of those tires that Cars Tour runs every once in a while at some other race when we run scuffs and uh. I, I haven't ran it enough, but um, when you've when you've done that, could you tell much difference in a? Yeah, I mean that, that was the last last week. No, yeah. we raced on them. Yeah. Um, no, I couldn't tell a lot of difference really. Maybe it can, I'd say it loosens your balance up just barely, but I mean I, the only difference is mounting them. <laughs> yeah. Mounting them's a little harder, but no, there's very very minimal difference. 
didn't notice much difference. Well, you wouldn't have noticed anyway in the gear because of, you wouldn't run the same motor anyway. <laughs> That's normal. So, yeah. um, that the only thing I can see is maybe a little bit of gear difference. I mean, but very, very little. Yeah. Um, cool. Um, well, that'll be a uh, exciting race, everybody. If you are in the area or anywhere close to the area, um, you uh, you got to get out to Florence Motor Speedway. Mr. Skylar Whitfield on here with us tonight. Uh, yeah, you're right, man. Sam Yarbrough already got the pole for this race. I think that's uh, my pick. Due to uh, due to win back um, a few weeks back, good. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I that is not a bad pick, Connor. Uh, but yeah, you're right, Skylar. Uh, Galinsky made made that high side work look really good. Uh, I always I always hold that uh, high side for my boy Bryant Barnhill, though. Uh, the asphalt cowboy yep. there. <laughs> they try to see um, who can go the highest. I believe. It's gonna be the, the I, hey. I think Galinsky got him beat, man. He was. Oh yeah. He was. He was He's using the, up there. He was using the cushion, and yeah. when I say cushion, I don't mean <laughs> oh, like the rubber. I mean like the dirt cushion <laughs> up there, uh, making that work. You'll see people try it. Um, a lot of people that come just for this race to Florence, you see them. They see those guys making speed, and they'll go up there and try it. But I don't. Maybe there's only only a handful that really ever make it work. There's an art to driving up there. Yeah. I feel like, and I've always said, I feel like we could take these legend cars up there. I feel Possibly. like if we could I get them like, rolling around yeah. the top, it might be fast. We have to clean it off a lot. Though. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Definitely got to be cleaned off a lot. But I feel like I feel like it could happen. I feel like it really will work over. If we could get them, I don't know, some of these cars seem a little too too hooked up off the corner, but if I think for us, yeah. it worked. Some of these other cars, feel like they can kind of mat it a little easier, but... yeah. If, I got. I got to keep putting that momentum. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm with Skyler though. Uh, Galinsky, Ryan Galinsky, up on that top side. Um, he made that look good. Oh yeah. Um, uh, a couple weeks ago over there, and um, man, he uh, he put it on the outside after an early oh, I've spin. Seen I've seen. Oh yeah, yeah, people, yeah. People, that's usually how it works. If people wait till your car starts handling bad, to go up there. Usually, it don't work for it. people that are successful in it. Usually, commit early. I will say, um couple races i was able to run over there my charger car earlier this year if i was stuck on the bottom my car was awful i don't and this probably by accident hmm. i could move up by the lane and a half and i was passing cars on uh, on the outside oh yeah so i was like man maybe i'm well, the outside maybe, maybe i can yeah. figure that out <laughs> if, you, if you jump on the outside there's i got more momentum up there yeah. uh so i like it up there i like it up there all right, everybody. I also want to thank our good friends over at Profab Hitters and Exhaust, guys. If you are in the market for a uh, nice set of hitters and exhaust, just like that was on our good friend Katie Hittinger's car this past week, Profab Hitters and Exhaust are the way to go. Uh, definitely go uh, check them out. Not only do they sound good and look good, but as their slogan says, they are quality that wins. They're one of the best quality hitters on the market. Um, you you can't beat them. You can't beat them. So uh, head over to Profab Hitters and Exhaust. Tell me sent you. Um, un- unfortunately, Andy actually messaged me earlier today. They had a they got a their, their holiday party this Friday night. I was gonna go up to it. I was like, man, I'll be in the Bahamas. Oh darn, <laughs> <laughs> darn. Nah, I really would. I'd love to go up there oh, yeah. to it. Um, super good guys. They're they're. Man, a whole shop full of nice people up there. So uh, it's really cool. Done a couple tours of that place. Um, I, I love it. Uh, one day, Connor going to have to get up there with me and show yeah. him all that and just how it goes from flat sheet of flat sheet of metal all the way to a all the way to a to a header. Yeah, collectors, everything, all the way out the back end. Um, it's really cool. Also, our good friends Earl Ramey Racing Engines. Y'all head over to Earl Ramey Racing Engines. Get you some power. It is that time of year to reboot, I guess we'll say, and uh, get going, uh, get ready for next season. So uh, head over to Earl Ramey Racing Engines. I don't care what kind of application you got, anything from a crate engine on up to a super, whatever in between. Y'all go up there. Tell them we sent you up there to, uh, to them today. All right. Well, there ain't much more racing. It's just a yeah. This is a this is the bad part of the year, I guess. This is the this is the that the, part of the year. Yeah, nothing but football and a couple other stuff. But. Well, how about speaking of football, real quick? How about our Gamecocks? 
best game all year. <laughs> best offense we've had yeah. all year. Best defense too. Yeah, I mean, it? I know it's Vanderbilt, but when I, when I was kind of looking back, Vanderbilt's been losing by 14, 10, 17. You know, that, they haven't really been blowing out like that this year. So no. that was a may, – may, hey, if we went out and get a bowl game, I'll call it a salvage season, I guess. That's that's all we can say. Whatever. Um, I mean, we know it's a growing season. Yeah. Now, how about – real quick, I know it's not a football show. How about Jimbo Fisher getting fired from A&M? That's crazy. I'm like, I'd take his record right now. Well, thing that got me, I, I don't think he's been very great over there considering what he did, but the, the buyout. Seventy-eight, 78 million, million dollars. Million. Oh, I I, you could pay me that much to fire me. I'm okay right. with that. But I'm trying to say, I think that would keep me. I mean, that tells you there is some. They're not bad. In Texas. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're not bad enough. They're not seventy-eight million dollar buyout bad to me. They're six and four right yeah. now. We would take and that and right they just now. One too. That's what I'm saying. But there's got to be something. I think they've been spending some money on some recruiting classes, you know, NIL and stuff, and just had the results have not been there. Obviously. I, yeah, I get it. I mean, obviously, conference stuff has not gone well for them so far, other than Carolina. <laughs> well, I think I think they they were expecting playoffs. Oh, yeah, oh, it, yeah. When it wasn't there, I don't know how you can expect that now. Um, you know, when this, I mean, I get expecting building up to that, but I just don't see how this NIL stuff is is new. It's new to everybody. Um, it's. Yes, we're a couple years into it, but everybody's they're figuring out how to buy these players now. I mean, yeah. that's what they're figuring out. That's what they figured out. Um, and that is the reason Clemson is in the shape they're in right now. Um, Dabo didn't want to participate. I don't blame him. I respect, I, it, want, yeah. I respect it, too. But it has really hurt his team. Um, uh, and just like that. But that's the thing is now, I think the one thing it has done – is every team has potential to get a few good players and oh, put yeah. a put a better team together. Uh and so I think it somewhat more levels the playing field. Um Alabama. Look at oh, yeah, it. I mean, it's, it's still good. You can say a joint, but this might be the the top ten. There there is no team that no is a definitive Favorite to win the, the championship. The only thing I can wish this year was the playoffs was bigger than what yeah. it is. I'm glad. I'm glad it's going. I, I was saying twelve would have been. I think. Or I mean, I was saying eight would have been a good number for teams to playoffs. But they they win twelve. We'll see. But um, that's. I I don't see why we. I mean, do that, and I don't. I said home play two games a week. Huh? I mean, yeah. you might have some guys hurt, but whatever. <laughs> I still personally say. I oh. still personally say that we need to completely re-rack on the conferences because this having well, ACC teams from the West California. Coast yeah. Yeah, is yeah, absolutely it's, ridiculous. It defeats the purpose. It absolutely defeats the purpose. Let's re-rack all that. Get that back straight how it needs to be. Um, and then we take basically the top school from each conference, which would kind of stink. In some yeah, ways, I don't know. because you would have some that are that finish second in it that yeah, were way a, better than somebody. Yeah, who, I'm not a huge fan of that. Even when it comes to, in, to the March Madness, I, I don't, I don't think in my opinion that the, the Sun Belt's not bad, but what, what it, the Mid Atlantic Conference champion yeah. should be in. I mean, that I don't know. I th- I think it should just I don't know. I think some, there's I feel like there's a lot of teams that miss out. The Cinderella stories are cool, but more times than not, they're they're just a waste of a spot. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. If they're going to do this NIL, they need to get a college football game out soon. That's all I want. Like, it's been delayed for a year and a half now. That's all I want. <laughs> He's like, I want a college football game. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I had the last one. Yeah, I, I, I got my Xbox in 2015, so I, ne- I never really had one to play. I st- I that's have, what I want. I just want I still to have all game. the I had all the college ones up until they quit making them yeah. for PlayStation. Uh I, I love those. I, like, yeah, I, I like those way better. They're great games. Yeah, they were wonderful. It's time. Landon's got, I don't know if he's got the newest Madden. I think he's got last year's Madden. Yeah, yeah I play Madden. I don't know. It's just, college just. Let me tell you something. That's really fun. Uh, you been on VR very much? Ver- nah. Landon's got a uh, uh, Oculus or a Meta, yeah. Meta, whatever it's called. Um, 
There's a football game on there. I've, You're the quarterback. I've seen videos about that. That is so much fun. That looks like it. It is so much fun. Um. And you're in it. I mean, you're you're standing there. You're looking around. Looking around is like you're telling the guy, "All right." <laughs> and um, that is that is the most fun. I, I, if I'd have had that when I was when I was younger, I probably wouldn't ever come out of my room just because I, I'm playing football in here. Yeah. And I was sitting there looking at it yesterday, and I'm like, I hear these guys on iRacing racing with these things. They like it. I keep saying I'm gonna hook it up, but I know I'd get dizzy. And I I like it. I think I like the ability to look away. When I'm well, that's, you know what I'm my, saying? that's yeah, me too. Um, that you can never. You're it's right. like you really have to. Because my eyes, after a little, while, it's not well, not just my eyes. Because I've played landings. There's a fishing game on there. I love just going fishing <laughs> on there. I'm like, you can't really go fishing right now, so I'm just going to fish on there. But uh, that thing, like your face, it it will start sweating just right here. They they now have these pieces that go around your eyes. And a fan that actually is up top. It's like a helmet fan, yeah. basically. Helmet blower. Um, just to keep this part of your face cooler mm. because it gets so hot. I guess with those little screens in there. Um, I do want to try it, though. I may have to I'll get Landon try yours one day. Because I, I see a lot of videos that just look. You have to. It is so much fun. All kinds of weird. I, the games are relatively cheap, too, aren't they? Uh, for the most part. Yeah. They're cheaper than... Buying Xbox Cheaper than, game, yeah, yeah. Xbox or PlayStation games. Because Landon's got PlayStation 5 also. Way cheaper than that. Them games are getting outrageous now. There's six dollars minimum. Minimum, which is like I think say a lot of them. If you get any other edition, you up to a hundred bucks on half of them. I'm like, that's ridiculous. I remember when I was young. I know this back in the day, people. But when I was young, I remember used to go into store and buying a video game. This is after PlayStation. Everything all come out. Thirty dollars was top notch game. I mean, that was you know that was best you could get. That was whatever edition. Most of them's twenty five bucks or something like that. And now I'm like, jeez. Most of them, most n- nobody don't even have a physical CD anymore. Oh yeah, there's no you download the, the, the Xbox I have now doesn't have a game drive. Uh, Landon's, I do get the we did get I the PlayStation it, Five it with the drive. So much more. And I was like, I don't plow. I don't have enough discs. The to, PlayStation wasn't that much difference. Uh, when the Xbox it, so. was a pretty good difference, yeah. at least for me. I was like, I like having the disc actually. Yeah. <laughs> No, the only thing that stinks about it, and what they were doing was, uh, and they were smart because people were, you know, you played, you passed around the game to your friends and played it, and uh, they made it so you couldn't do that. That's so what they were doing. Yeah, to buy your own game. Um, buy your own game. And even now, with even with the disc, once you download it to one, um, it like basically stores it and you can't download it to another one. Really? Yeah. So, I don't know. It's, it's cool. But, um, uh, I was trying to think of any other racing stuff going on. Um, obviously, the uh, Chili Bowl, all that will be coming up here in another yep. month. Snowball Derby. Much. Snowball Derby. Um, uh, also, Governor's Cup. Speaking of football, yeah. Governor's nasty. Cup. Get, uh, yeah. Uh, and him and William Byron. I didn't even know that show. was going on. So I saw the highlights of the last couple laps or whatever. Yep. Um that was a pretty good race. Um, and William Byron, somebody kind of threw William Byron under the bus for, he said, I can't believe you're calling out NASCAR like that. Well, he didn't really call out NASCAR. He just said, that's, that's real racing there. He said, being able to conserve some tire and then run hard and, and, and try to save your car to pass somebody yeah. and everything. And he was right. But, oh, says, um, but they put on heck of a race there. Um, also, I saw tonight uh, that there was a meeting going on today, the 13th, as we're talking, uh, about trying to, whatever they're doing with the property, trying to save Greenville. Greenville, pick- yeah. Pickens, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know. I don't think, I think the much chances hope for are, that one. Yeah. Unfortunately. It's crazy, man. There's so much history at that track. Oh, yeah. It's like so like, much. I think cup races. Yeah. Know. Some of the very early ones. Yeah, and that's what, I mean, there's a section. I mean, they had all the champions yeah. listed on the wall. I wish Ralph Earnhardt. Wish I could have made it up there. Yeah. i never been to it, but. Me neither. Uh, it was, I, it was, you know, had a lot of history, but I never heard people talk really good about the track for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know if it was just who was running it or what. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I have no clue. I really don't. Um. So, anyway. Well. I guess we have a short and sweet yep. show. Um, appreciate uh, 
Katie Hittinger coming on here with us. Also, ladies and gentlemen, want to thank all the rest of our uh, our sponsors for coming on here. Uh, Fresh Chef, guys, if you are in the market or in the area up in um, – in, in, in Race City, as we call it, Mooresville or Char- uh, Charlotte, uh, all those areas, go visit a fresh chef, guys. They are some is some of the best food uh, you will ever eat. Uh, also, MPM Marketing, appreciate the Tanya as always helping us out. Um, Rev Max Racing, uh, awesome suits, gloves, everything, all that jazz. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, guys. Um, Dixie Maid, if you are in if you're in the area over here, head all over to Dixie Maid. Get some of the uh, stuff everybody wants for Christmas. All the clothes, all the all the cool kids want for Christmas. Um, Southern Fried Cotton, uh, Simply Southern, Drake, Axis, all the all the cool brands. So y'all head over to uh, Dixie Maid. Uh, go visit our buddy Brandon over there. Uh, they got their layaway plan going on now for Christmas. So uh, y'all go there just beside the Florence Flea Market um, right here in Florence, South Carolina. So uh, anyway, well, Connor, appreciate it. You head yep. over to the 400 this weekend? I will be there, hopefully. Um, I, yeah, I, th- I think I'll, I'm trying to be over there. I don't know. Sometimes slow racing is calling your name. You know? <laughs> but um, When that weather, it just depends. Yeah, <laughs> and that weather and that crowd. But um, I think I think we'll be over there in some capacity. Cause um, should be a real good show. Okay. Probably definitely better. Fr- I like going to their Friday for the limited s- and stuff. I'm probably gonna be trying to steal some internet from somebody on the ship. <laughs> and like, what happened? <laughs> um, so uh, it'd be good. It'd be real good. Um, what day are you leaving? We are leaving Wednesday as soon as I get off work. Uh, driving down to Port Canaveral, Florida. Um. And we are getting on the ship uh, Thursday. I think we're our boarding time's like one o'clock Thursday. Mm. So, cool deal. And then we will be back next Monday. So we will not have a show next Monday. I won't be back. I will be on senior trip. So senior trip. Where are you going? We're going down to Orlando and Tampa to um, Universal and Bush Gardens. Yeah. Oh. That's a quick little trip, but yeah. Universal. Yeah. I love Universal. We just, I've never been to. You've never been to Universal? Or Bush Gardens. I, I've never been to Bush we, We've been to Disney, you know, sometimes. Yeah. We've never made it to Universal. You like Universal. Yeah. To me, Disney is. We were kind of talking about. I was talking about this about, with our youth pastor the other night. Uh, Disney is. It's a great experience. Oh, yeah. Just the whole Disney experience, you know. Uh, Universal is if you like rides. Yeah. Um, all the 4D stuff they got. Um, make sure when you go. Uh, how many days y'all go in Universal? There's just one Universal and one Bush Gardens day. One and one. But we're there pretty much open to closing. Uh, make sure to go ride Hagrid's. Yeah. Um, it's like you're on a motorcycle. That's what I've heard. It's really cool. Uh, that one's cool. Uh, me and Kayla just went back in. That's where we went yeah. for our honeymoon, uh, for our anniversary. <laughs> uh, we've been a few times there. Um, get you a butter beer in the Harry Potter world. Uh, it is if you like. Um, is it butterscotch? Yeah, butterscotch. Mm. You like butterscotch? Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's really good. Frozen, right. frozen butter beer. Mm. It's really good, really good. Um, there's a train that goes back and forth. It's the Hogwarts Express goes back and forth between the two parks. Um, it's really fun to ride because you sit in a train car. Actually, you're actually in a train. Um, yeah. You're in a train car, and it looks like you're looking out the window. Um, but you're actually in like this little room. So it's like uh, about like we're sitting right here, mm-hmm. uh, except this a bench about four yeah. people can fit on. Um, when it shut, when the door shut, um, there's like it looks like a window over here from the door, but like a frosted glass. What it looks like then you got the window it looks outside it looks like it looks outside yeah. but it looks like you're traveling through uh this whole world harry yeah. potter yeah. world my wife can explain it to you kayla loves it <laughs> she can tell you all about it um but then uh you hear stuff it's got speakers everywhere and then uh even on the frosted glass it projects some stuff on there yeah. it sounds like the whole cast from harry potter walking right. i'm not a big harry potter fan yeah. i will i've never really watched I it never either. but there 
I could probably watch the movies more after I went there than yeah, I could sure. before. Just jumping in, yeah. Um, there's also, uh, the, to me, the rides over in that area are probably the most fun. Mm. Um, don't waste your time on Fast and the Furious. Really? Yeah. As long as it if, don't go upside down, I'm good. No, I don't. That's why I can't. I can't do upside down. You ain't do upside down. You want, you want me to give you some medicine to take? I got some. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I know. No, <laughs> I, I'm, good I'm smart enough to avoid what make what makes me sick. Um. Oh, you need to ride a Velocicoaster. Is it? It's a roller coaster. Yeah. Yes, yeah, in Jurassic Park hmm. area. It's a really good roller coaster. Uh, Hulk's good too. Hulk is insane. That thing just shoots you out like a cannon. Wow. Um, right off start, just foo. <laughs> um, oh, I could name a pile of them there that, that are super fun. But yeah, get on Haggard's because that one's going to be the longest ride. Longest. Longest wait. Wait because they do not have an express line. The rest of them pretty much have an express line. Haggers does not have an express line. Gotcha. We stood in line for four hours. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> like a whole day. Well, it only said it was supposed to be two hours. We waited till the very last because um, they were like, we were like, we're done. This is the only ride we got left. And it was only supposed to be a couple hour wait. Ended up being a four hour wait. Wow, that's a long time of standing there. Well, it's got these tunnels kind of go down in the ground. And they decided to add on trains because there were so many people in there, right in the middle of us in there. So we just were stuck. Yeah. Fortunately, there's air conditioner in most oh, of the There lines. you go. Um, Transformers, 4D, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Spider Man, 4D, pretty good. Uh, I was trying to think of another one. Minion stuff is really good. Jimmy Fallon stuff is, is, is all right. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff at Universal. Sweet. You'll have a you'll have a day. I haven't ever been to Bush Garden, so I can't tell you about that. Well, I'll be able um, to tell you when I get back. It, it we'll hear all about yeah. it when you leave and go up. Um, Sunday afternoon, we'll be back late Tuesday night. Okay, so it's quick. Yeah, going with class. Yeah, the whole senior or most of the senior class going. Nice, nice. That'll be a good trip. Yep, we'll pass you on the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, well, like I said, we'll be back Monday. We we'll get off ship Monday morning. Uh, Pork and I roll was just. About an hour west of, mm -hmm. uh, or east of uh, Orlando. So cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we appreciate all our support on here. Appreciate all you guys. Also, real quick, I want to uh, put it out there. We ain't talked about it on here. Uh, we shared it on there, but Connor got a new YouTube page up. Yep. Um, PD Racing Classics. Go check it out. Um, trying to just get some videos up. All kinds of old races from the Florence Mercy Speedway and Dillon, I mean, um, Myrtle Beach. Um, they're, they're fun. I've had, I'm having fun just watching them as I make them because there's... That would be... They're, they're, wonder, it would take me forever to get them oh, yeah. up because I sit there and watch the whole thing. Oh, there, there's excitement. It's just, it, every race is just, it's kind of, it's, some of it's just pure comedy just the way, you know, but um, go yeah, check it out, yeah. A few fights. Oh, yeah. Once in a while. It's got it. The race nights are packed full of, full of action. He, he had to pay homage to his dad. The first one he put up was yeah. his... Uh, Jamie's first win at Myrtle Beach, so that was cool to see. Oh, yeah. Um, what else you got on there right got now? A um, bunch of Florence Florence races, Florence Florence yeah. I try to post the whole night whenever I do it. So yeah, you go see whoever if you were in them or you knew somebody that was racing, go check it out and kind of relive. We'll have to how it used to be. We'll have to get some people to send your videos up on on here to talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, I get it to where I can get people to send me video because I have most I have. 95% stuff is from Florence and yeah. come, come from Little Beach. So hopefully if I get going, I can get set to where I can get some people from Sumter, Somerville, or any any local tracks. You know, yeah. If you got it, we can get it to where we can get some stuff up there. Exactly. So if y'all are listening out there, you got videos. Uh, Well, mainly what Connor's got is from, what, late 80s, late 80s through the 90s, 90s all the I mean, way up to I'll, early I'll 2000s. Take, I, I doubt I'll turn you down. You know? Yeah, exactly. So uh, if you got some videos of, of some races, you know, back before there was Flow Racing and Dirt Vision and uh, whatever it is, Racing America now, back before all that, you know, people actually had to just stand up there and video races. So if y'all got any of that and you don't want us to take the time to put it all on youtube especially from around here around this area oh, yeah. uh the pd area as we call it but you know whatever what the, he'll, i imagine he'll take oh, anything yeah. from looking to get some more tracks on there and exactly some more content so get in touch with us and we'll uh i'll set you up with connor and yeah. get get some video on there so well uh, definitely well cool man yep. all right well have fun on your trip 
have fun at Florence Motor Speedway. And uh, we'll see you when we uh, get back, I yep. reckon. You have a good trip, too. We'll do it. We'll do it. All right, everybody. Appreciate y'all coming on with us. Appreciate Katie Hettinger hanging out with us tonight again. Uh, glad to have her back on. Uh, best of luck to her and everybody else over at Florence Motor Speedway this week. Uh, can't wait to see what happens over there in the South Carolina 400. Uh, and I guess we will uh, talk to y'all next time. See you.